Well, welcome back, everybody. We're starts fine out. We're going to do a little um, impasto uh, oil today. At least get started. We'll see how far we go and if it needs to be two parts or one. But um, I'm just going to do a little adobe. Uh, it's a little adobe I saw along Canyon Road in Santa Fe. And um, I will start just a little uh, charcoal sketch here. Let's see. It's. Uh, some perspective here. It was uh, Canyon Road ran up this way, and uh, uh, so I had we've got some one point perspective heading that way. It was uh, just a um, just a little drop right here. Oop, it goes with charcoal. There's a little drop right here. Building and um, it picked up right here, and then it went back. This was a courtyard area in between the two buildings, and in this courtyard was a um, doorway or a gateway. gave a nice uh, canopy effect. Uh, a lot of old tree growth along Canyon Road and it provides some nice shade in the summer. Then we had some, uh, just some foliage right in here. So I'm just, uh, just indicating it was still a little bit of charcoal there and uh, Playing with this um, header here, we had some, kind of a thick return at Adobe wall, and then that door was right, right in there. It's a nice uh, kind of a turquoise door. So a little handle there, door handle. These, then there's quite a bit of foliage, some smaller trees. But through there, we had some sky back here, so we'll put put that in. That's about it. Really, it's a pretty simple piece. There are a lot of flowers, pretty flowers decorating. And this was all adobe through here. Let's kind of round those off a little, change it just a bit. Okay, that's all we need for a uh, all we need for a drawing just to get us started. And then uh, I've got some um, oils here. It's gonna be palette knife, so I buy these larger tubes. Of course, I've got a collection here: some Lucas, uh, Windsor Newton, some more Windsor Newton, some Gamblin. So really, um, any of these will suffice, but uh, since we're doing it pretty thickly, we uh, like to use the uh, bigger tubes, of course, a little bit better price. And uh, also, um, lately I've been using some of this Lucas product. It's called uh, painting butter. It just extends the uh, size of the paint and uh, the amount of paint, and it 
doesn't seem to dilute it. And, he, and it helps it dry just a touch faster too because these take a long time to dry up to a year really. To, here it'll go two or three months and it'll be somewhat dry. And um, this is all pallet knife. That's part of the fun of this is um, using, uh, I like these offset knives, these kind of triangle shape here, all like little cement trails. And um, so that's about right for laying in some of it and then a little bit of detail, maybe with a little bit smaller one. So I'm going to mix up um, some paint here. I'm going to um, start with just some of this Adobe color and uh, st start darker. I'll go a little bit darker first, a thinner layer, and then a little bit lighter, build it up dark to light. And then as we dig into that, you'll see some dark underneath and um, give it some nice depth. So um, let's see, just got a, a paper palette here. Here's some of this Lucas uh, painting butter and it's a uh, it's a little bit plugged up. What do I got here? Got something plugging that up. There we go. Oh, that whole thing is plugged up. Nothing like live television. Well, I'm gonna skip skip the Lucas painting better. I'll just use a uh, little paint. So, let's start with a little bit of um, titanium white here. To be fair, the Lucas painting better was um, it's probably a year old. It's, uh, I think there's some good product in there. It's just somehow that end has gotten plugged up. Um, so here's some Lucas Will paint, French Ultramarine. Go ahead and get some of that out there. Won't be using that for the Adobe color, but be using it for some other things. So, and some sap green here. Lizard and crimson. Saved it. I usually keep this on a table, I'm just bringing it up here so you can see it. So, trying to balance it on my knees. <laughs> okay, lizard and crimson. And a little yellow ochre. bit of cadmium yellow. Okay, that's enough to get us started here. And I'll just do a, I'll just do a section, show you um, how I began to do these things. Let's see, let's get some white. I'll try to keep this up. Oh, let me look. Yeah, you can see that. Um, and a little bit of yellow ochre. The Adobe colors are just kind of a kind of a yellow ochre. Um, some are a little bit lean a little pink, some more yellow, some gold, some brown, so they're all very similar. Put a little bit of lizard and crimson in there. And 
and you can marble that if you want. You don't have to mix it perfectly. Um, it's kind of attractive sometimes to see a little, a little marbling of color. And there is some time mixing these. Um, it's just part of the deal. A lot of your time is spent on the palette, as painters know. And uh, so you can uh, fast forward through some of this if you want, or I might uh, possibly I might be able to cut some of this out on the YouTube studio, but we'll see what we need to do. Okay, there's there's an adobe color. I want to start with something a little darker though. Um, just any dark, really. Uh, so I'll take some uh, ultramarine, some sap green. This will be underneath. And some red. Get that more of a dark brown. Red and brown, or red and green complementary colors. They'll make a dark brown so it's a little too red so a little bit of green in there will neutralize the red and the red will neutralize the green and if you don't want it quite that dark you can you know add a little yellow ochre okay, and that's That's good enough to get started. So, okay, right in here, let's start playing with this. This is a lot of fun, really. It's very, very simple, really. Um, I'll do this up to the to the doorway there. It doesn't have to be quite as thick, these underpaintings. Um, some of the dark underpainting. You can make it thicker, but um, have to be okay so we've got uh, I'll try to close that door give you a little better idea where we're going with this. You can use that edge of that knife as somewhat of a straight edge, which is kind of pretty handy. It's just all painted wet and wet. As opposed to my acrylic, which is, um, you know, you just let it dry and do a lot of dry brush blending here in this uh, palette knife oil. It's more, uh, it's just all wet and wet. Okay, so I've got some underpainting on this. Um, this Adobe, it's not completely. We'll start with that though and show you where we're going right quick. Okay, we'll get a little uh, Here's some of this uh, Adobe color And um, You'll see how Go a little thicker here. See how that just uh, It's really a lot of fun. It's just it looks a lot like Applying Adobe, you know, so like a little cement 
trowel or a plaster trowel. You just start um, applying that in there. You can get it really thick if you want, a little bit thicker. See that thick stroke? Work your way. Cross. Now this does take a lot of paint, of course, um, and it's a little messy. So you've already dragged my hand across that, but that's just the way it is. Make up a little more adobe. Let me see if I can get some of that painting better. I just want you to see. Here's an old trick. If it's plugged up up here, just undo the back, sacrifice part of the tube. Always just cut it also. Let me see if I have something a little bit faster. Just cut the Okay, there we go. There's some of that. You can see that it's just some, it's just an additive. It dries a little faster and it uh, extends the paint. You don't need quite so much paint. So, we got some adobe here. well for this. See how it just extended it and you really don't see much of a difference in the, uh, the look of it. Makes it a little not quite as stiff. You want it good and stiff to stand up but uh, this is a little relaxes it a little bit. There we go. Well I forgot how messy this is. I haven't done one of them. A year or so, but it's fun. So sometimes the messier it is, the better. It's all about the texture, really. This works great too when you're doing some uh, rocks, like a stone building. Now this is adobe, but um, just for example, if this was a stone building, just a little demonstration here, you can just come in and dig out. Dig out some rocks. Clean the brush off. And uh, it takes a little time. It's, uh, yeah, you get into some detail, but you can see the uh, potential here. And since we've got the dark underneath, you can see some shadows in those mortar joints. So you see how that starts to uh, create all sorts of possibilities. Uh, I like to do these. I did a lot of, uh, done a lot of pieces from England and uh, 
the Cotswolds and Oxford and uh, a lot of stone things up there like this. This adobes are, uh, they just don't need that so much, although sometimes they do have some rock down like at the base. Okay, so there's a simple little wall there and this it's just the right look for Adobe. Then if you want to darken it, see we've got this coming back. I want the light coming here, I think, so I just want to darken that a little. So take a little of this dark that I had, put it with the lighter Adobe. got a little darker that perspective it's just running back here now you really don't see a lot of it there's gonna be some foliage covering that up so I'll do a little bit of the uh, sky and then some foliage and um, down here on the ground we can go ahead and get some dark just some of that I like to make even if there's some paving down here in the modern canyon road I like to make it more of a dirt and gravel look you know more period like 200 years ago when these were first built again there's gonna be some foliage right there so you can take and run big big swaths of that with your knife or you can just press it you know, just extend it a little bit make it a little thinner you, just, you get used to that, using that knife and it uh, can do a lot of things with that with the paint okay and over here I'll just kind of throw that in there now it's it is better if you keep going wet and wet you know don't wait days and days to get back because it dry it dry even though it's thick it will it'll dry up somewhat in a week or two and uh, but even if it does you can still you can still work with it it's a little easier when it's all all wet though and um, okay so you want a little bit more light on that take some white a little bit of that painting better and then um, a little bit of a yellow and orange in there You want some lighter color on there so you can see how that begins to throw some light on it like you've got some speckled light and shadow and then you can just finish this any way you want really you can run it down or you can lift it up just create some extra texture To clean it, just wipe it off. And okay, so we've got a little bit of a wall started there. You're seeing the principle of this. Uh, like I said, I haven't I used to do a lot of these, haven't done any in a year or two, and um, I just forgot how messy they are, but they're fun, you know, you just they get all over you, but. Uh, it's just hard to uh, mix without dragging your <laughs> a knuckle or a finger across that 
other paint. Okay, let me check, see if I'm still running back here. Yep. It's a bummer when a battery dies or something in the middle of a video. Okay, let's put a little sky in and then a little foliage and then we'll stop and then I'll do another one um, tomorrow maybe, maybe a part two, try to finish it. Um, let's see here, let me clear a little bit on my uh, palette. I'm going to put white. I want to just make some blue sky color. I'll extend it out a little. Now it's getting a little, uh, yeah, it's getting a little polluted here. I didn't clean it perfectly, but that's okay. Just a little bit is uh, kind of interesting. I like to see a little custom color <laughs> in things. that back there. Okay, now I don't need much much blue. It's pretty strong stuff compared to the white, so let's see what we get here. You can see it's uh, muting it a little, some of the Adobe color. A little bit's getting in there, but uh, there's nothing wrong with Letting that color customize itself a little. And our Lucas painting better. Let's put a little more out there. That does help extend it. And like I said, it uh, it makes it not quite such a stiff paint. Now you, like I said, you want it stiff to hold up and to stay where it's at. But uh, the um, this makes it a little easier to work with. It actually tires you out just constantly mixing this paint. But Okay, I just throw some. I'll go ahead and fill. Fill this guy in if I can. Let's try to anyway. 